हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू एग्जांपल्स ऑन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर होमोजीनियस रिकरेंस रिलेशंस विथ कांस्टेंट कोफिशंट्स बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस लेक्चर आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच लेक्चर नंबर वन टू थ्री ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस एंड पर्टिकुलरली लेक्चर नंबर थ्री इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस द मैथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग linear homogeneous recurrence relation uh, we have discussed for degree 2 only and in upcoming lectures we will generalize that method to linear homogeneous recurrence relation of any degree so we start with this uh, first recurrence relation here we are given one recurrence relation of second degree and we are given two initial conditions it is given that a0 is 1 and a1 equal to 0 that is when n equal to 0 a0 is 1 and when n equal to 1 we have a1 equal to 0 we know that uh, the, if our uh, recurrence relation is linear homogeneous with constant coefficient then the solution is always in this form an equal to r raised to n so we uh, are interested in the values of r Uh, which uh, satisfy this formula and uh, for that value of r an equal to r raised to n is a solution of given recurrence relation so as we have discussed in previous lecture the first step is we write down all the terms on left hand side and we equate to zero so i am rewriting this recurrence relation in this way i take all the terms on the right hand side and i i equate to zero now we put an equal to r raised to n we know that an equal to r raised to n is the form of solution of given recurrence relation so we write down an equal to r raised to n and uh, we see what we are getting so if i take an equal to r raised to n i have r raised to n minus 5 times If a n is r raised to n, a suffix n minus one is r raised to n minus one, and similarly a n minus two is r raised to n minus two equal to zero, and then we divide this whole equation by lowest degree term. Here lowest degree term is r to the power n minus two, so we divide each term by n minus two, and uh, we will obtain r square. Minus five into r plus six equal to zero. So this is the characteristic equation of given recurrence relation, and we have to solve this characteristic equation. So if you are comfortable, you can directly write down this uh, characteristic equation uh, directly from the first step, and uh, if you are not comfortable. you can put an equal to r raised to n everywhere in the recurrence relation then you divide by lowest degree term and you will get your characteristic equation now we have to solve this equation so for that i can rewrite this 5r as minus 3r minus 2r plus 6 equal to 0 and let me simplify all these things here i take r common and i will have R minus three in the bracket. Here I take minus two common, and I am left with R minus three in the bracket. Again, I take R minus three common. So in another bracket, I have to write R minus two. This is simple algebra. You can easily do it. So I obtain R equal to three and two, and uh, we can see that these roots are real and distinct. and if roots are real and distinct then the solution of recurrence relation is an equal to alpha 1 into r raised to n here r is 3 and 2 alpha 1 into 3 raised to n plus alpha 2 into 2 raised to n and uh, n equal to 0 1 2 and so on and this alpha 1 and alpha 2 are arbitrary constants so this is general solution of recurrence relation for different values of alpha 1 and alpha 
we will have different formulas for this a n and we will have different sequences a n which are solutions of given recurrence relation but here out of all those infinite number of solutions uh, we have to decide that solution for which a0 is 1 and a1 equal to 0 that is for n equal to 0 we must have 1 and when n is equal to 1 we must have 0 so using these two conditions uh, we have to decide particular values of these constants alpha 1 and alpha 2 so if i take uh, n equal to 0 put n equal to 0 we can give this number 2 into uh, we have a0 equal to alpha 1 into 3 raised to 0 that is 1 plus alpha 2 into 2 raised to 0 that is also 1 and we are given that a0 is a0 is given it is given that a0 is 1 so we obtain alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 1 similarly we put n equal to 1 in equation number 2 put n equal to 1 in 2 and we have a1 here i am taking n equal to 1 a1 equal to 3 raised to 1 into alpha 1 plus 2 raised to 1 into alpha 2 and it is given that value of a1 is 0 so here we put a1 equal to 0 and we obtain 3 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 equal to 0 so we have system of two linear equations in alpha 1 and alpha 2 so we can use any method to solve this uh, two linear equations in terms of alpha 1 and alpha 2 and we can find out the particular values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 so here if we see that if we write down the coefficient matrix suppose i am writing coefficients of alpha 1 then i have 1 and 3 and if i consider coefficients of alpha 2 in second column i have 1 and 2 and if i take the determinant of this matrix it is 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 which is non zero so i can use kramer's rule to find out the solution or i can simply do uh, that i multiply this equation number 3 by uh, 3 and uh, then I can take 3 minus 4 so that what we are doing in our school classes so we can see that uh, we can do this thing also that uh, we can multiply equation number 1 by 3 and we can subtract uh, not equation number 1 equation number 3 by 3 and we subtract equation number 4 from this multiplication so 3 is multiplied with 3 and 4 is subtracted from 3 so that I can rewrite as I am multiplying this by 3 so I have 3 alpha 1 plus 3 alpha 2 equal to 3 and I have to subtract this equation from that equation 3 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 equal to 0 and uh, here I will obtain value of alpha 2 3 minus 2 that is 1 and uh, 3 minus 0 is 3 3 alpha 1 give will get cancelled so alpha 2 is 3 and uh, if we substitute alpha 2 equal to 3 in equation 1 alpha 1 is 1 minus alpha 2 alpha 1 is 1 minus alpha 2 that is 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 so what we have obtained alpha 1 is minus 2 and alpha 2 is 3 so these two values we will put in the general solution and we will obtain particular solution satisfying initial conditions so in the next step we put values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 in equation number 2 which is general solution and uh, we get recurrence relation has this solution 
alpha 1 that is minus 2 times what is equation number 2 alpha 1 into 3 raised to n alpha 2 into 2 raised to n alpha 1 into 3 raised to n alpha 2 into 2 raised to n let me check again 3 raised to n and 2 raised to n 3 raised to n 2 raised to n and uh, alpha 1 is minus 2 alpha 2 is 3 so this is the required solution which satisfies recurrence relation as well as given initial conditions we can verify also if i take n equal to 0 i will obtain value of a0 so a0 is minus 2 plus 3 that is 1 and if i take n equal to 1 i have a1 equal to minus 2 into 3 that is minus 6 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 and we can see a0 is 1 a1 is 0 and uh, that is correct the initial conditions were a0 equal to 1 and a1 equal to 0 and this solution satisfies those two initial conditions so in this way we can easily find out the solution of recurrence relation which satisfies given initial conditions the final solution will be free from arbitrary constants because we have to find out values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 using those initial conditions so whenever initial conditions are given we will have this type of particular solution we consider another example also here we can first write our equation as a n minus 4 times a n minus 1 plus 4 times a n minus 2 equal to 0 and uh, we can directly write down the characteristic equation the characteristic equation is this is recurrence relation of degree 2 so we have r square minus 4 into r plus 4 equal to 0 if you are not comfortable then you take a n equal to r raised to n simplify and then divide by lowest degree term and you will obtain this characteristic equation and this is obviously square of r minus 2 so therefore i have repeated roots i have two real values which are equal so this is the case of real and equal roots and therefore uh, we know that if we have real and equal roots the solution is a n equal to alpha 1 into 2 raised to n plus alpha 2 into 2 raised to n but because we have repeated roots we have to multiply here by n if you wish you can multiply here also so this is the general solution in which alpha 1 and alpha 2 are arbitrary constants and uh, write down that n is starting from 0 1 2 and so on and we give this number 1 now we have to use initial conditions it is given that a0 is 6 and a1 is 8 so we consider n equal to 0 first take n equal to 0 we have a0 equal to alpha 1 and due to this n in the product we have 0 this means alpha 1 equal to a0 and it is given that a0 is 6 so we directly obtain value of alpha 1 then we consider n equal to 1 take n equal to 1 in this equation number 1 which is general solution we have a1 equal to alpha 1 into 2 plus alpha 2 into 1 into 2 and alpha 1 is 6 so if i put alpha 1 equal to 6 i have 12 plus 2 alpha 2 and a1 is given it is 8 so now in the next step i put a1 equal to 8 and i have 8 equal to 12 plus 2 alpha 2 therefore 2 alpha 2 is 8 minus 12 that is minus 4 and therefore alpha 2 is minus 2 
and alpha 1 is 6. So, we put values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 in equation number 1. So, therefore, the solution is a n equal to uh, here we have 2 raised to n and n into 2 raised to n alpha 1 is 6. So, we have 6 into 2 raised to n plus alpha 2 is minus 2 and uh, n into 2 raised to n or this we can rewrite as 6 into 2 raised to n minus 2 n into 2 raised to n or we can take 2 raised to n common and we have 6 minus 2 n into 2 raised to n. The values of n are 0, 1, 2 and so on. This is the solution which satisfies recurrence relation as well as initial conditions. You can cross check your solution by taking n equal to 0 and n equal to 1. For n equal to 0, here I have a0 equal to 6 into 2 raised to 0 that is a0 is 6. If I take n equal to 1, I will have a1 equal to 6 minus 2 into 2 that is 4 into 2 which is 8 and we can see given initial conditions are a0 equal to 6 and a1 equal to 8. So, this is fine we can easily find out solution of linear homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients of degree 2 and uh, we can also decide the solution which satisfies given initial conditions. So, now I hope you are able to solve any linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients of degree 2 which can satisfy given initial conditions. So, in upcoming lecture we will generalize this concept to linear recurrence relation of any degree k and uh, this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.